Hi, and thanks for joining us here for the Mazda Inner Circle Wine Club uh, maturation uh, release. I'm Mario Mazza. And I'm Blaine Ballard. And we're here today at the South Shore Wine Company, one of our properties, to share with you the uh, sweet wine uh, package that we have coming out to you. Uh, yeah, we've got uh, three different varieties. The Vignoles is uh, uh, a little less sweet than the other two, but it, it kind of would could steer somebody in a different direction if they were so inclined. And then, then we've got uh, the Country Blush from Mazda, which is just a, a easy drinking, uh, Rosé style wine, and then we've got the Niagara, which screams great vineyards uh, along Lake Erie. <laughs> so, um, and so you've got your uh, tasting sheets along in your shipment, so feel free to follow along there. So the first one, uh, Vignol, uh, also uh, you know probably in, only in the viticultural world known as Labatt, um, is a variety that is it's really interesting from a viticulture standpoint. It's a really tight cluster. Um, Variety that actually can ripen quite high, uh, but it also is because it's such a tight cluster, it's, it's prone to some challenges uh, growing wise. So you have to be very careful so that it doesn't fall apart in the vineyard uh, because of its thin skin. Uh, also has a really high acidity, but that lends itself to uh, basically making it into a sweeter style that I think finds um, you know some great versatility in terms of actually working well as just uh, you know kind of being quaffable but also. got a really nice snappy finish but but you get that sweetness in there so it's like I said maybe kind of a bridge between a sweet style of wine and a drier style um, but friendly to uh, to a lot of people in a lot of dishes it's uh, um, the little bit of sweetness always lends itself to spicy food so something maybe uh, maybe like a spicy tuna roll sushi or, or something along those lines would, would be a, a great pairing yeah some of the Asian cuisine I, I think one of the things that I always pick is a you know definitely cocktail food here too and that oh, yeah. Really, just mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes the, the, the fresh fruits and fruit that are in there kind of pineapple kind of you know really drives those aromatics. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, too much of uh, a cloyingly sweet flavor profile, but you, you definitely are picking up a, a lot of tropical fruits in there, so it's, it's really nice. And so that vignole is actually off of the uh, Mazda Strapa Cellars brand set. Um, moving to the next wine line, we've got the Vineyard Country Blush. So this is from the Vineyard Country series at Mazda Vineyards, which is a uh, sweeter uh, uh, series uh, portfolio. And this uh, wine is actually derived from the Scuben grape, uh, which happens to be actually my favorite juice to drink in the world. Um, I love this grape juice. It is just wonderful as a juice, <laughs> it is crazy, but I mean, it is it is hands down, I think one of the favorites in the cellar. Uh, it, it's funny to say that, um, but uh, it is, it's, it's just a fantastic juice. Makes a really nice uh, aromatic uh, blush style wine, so this has a bit more residual sweetness. This is not your, your dry rosé. Uh, if you're a White Zin fan, I think this is probably a great, you know, uh, a great uh, compatriot. Um, so just, you know, fresh, fruity, Bitters residual, easy drinking, perfumey on the nose. Mm. Yeah. The the third wine we've got is you know Blaine said uh, Niagara, so that's one of the varieties that along Lake Erie here really just screams. Um, and this is a variety that's known you know for white grape juice. You would you would be familiar with this variety, but it also is uh, you know very popular in uh, you know in this part of the world in this region in terms of wine. Often made as we do with it, uh, made into a sweeter style. Um, so a fair bit of rich residual sweetness there. Uh, the aromatics are, you know, um, you know, they're 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 just so you know distinct. Uh, you know, you, you, you smell this and, and you know that uh, you know that you're drinking Niagara. It's just fragrant, intense. Um, you know, not a lot of acidity, so it's just kind of rich in uh, on the palate. Very uh, perfumey aromatics on the Country Blush and the Niagara. Mm -hmm. um, not so much perfumey on the Vignoles, but but um, you're tasting what you're smelling in these wines. They're they're very true to form. Um, um, for the for the sweet wine lover, they're they're um, they're they're great. Slept 
Yeah. And all these wines are, you know, really what's driving it. We're really trying to express the grapes. So there's there's no oak. It's just driving, you know, clean fermentation and stainless steel, making sure that what we taste in that grape and what we get, you know, when it comes into the winery is what makes it into the glass. We really don't want to do anything other than make sure that that, that impact, that flavor makes it over into the, into the bottle and into the glass. Yep, really true. So thanks for joining. We look forward to having you next time. Cheers. Cheers.